Okay. We're behind the front door, and we're gonna go to the garage. Along, oh, I guess it's now finding the gate. Okay. You see this right here? It might look like stucco or what, but it's not. It's just a parge coat. And and this this might look like stucco, but it's not. It's wood. It's just a stucco finish. So we've got wood exterior, and we've got brick exterior. We're coming on along right about here, and we got a little bit of movement right in here, a little bit of cracking. Now around, this is weird. Sorry, I still say this is weird on your report, but this is weird on your report. Okay, that's always the oriented strand board around the bottom of the fireplace chimney. I mean, that stuff it just melts when it gets wet. That's highly conducive to wood destroying insects. A lawn sprinkler head should not be closer than 12 inches to the wall. You see that we've got a little bit of wood repair here. Look at that. See all that? Yeah, buddy. See that? Not so good, man. Okay. Again, brick and wood, brick and wood. Manufactured chimney. Faux stucco. That's not stucco. Over here, at this end, this is a pier and beam. Or it piers, it's at, it's at least elevated. I don't know what kind of piers are under there or if there are piers under there. I do not know. We got erosion right here. Erosion right here. These steps are not dimensionally uniform. They've rolled in. We got negative drainage here. All this is sunken down, including the steps. Including the steps. That's why everything like hangs right in the corners. It's flowing this way. Negative drainage all along here. I wonder if I can get that off. I can get a peek in here if I did, if I can. No, it's painted on pretty good. And do no harm. That's why I was like hanging half off. Somebody tried to get in there. Somebody else will try to get in there. I'll shine a flashlight in there in a little bit. I just want to put this over here so I won't walk, go home with it in my pocket. All right. Coming on along. So this is kind of like a foundation exterior wall. I mean exterior wall section. But I can tell by this hall of sound that this has been raised. We got a cavity underneath here can't see. No access, no access. You saw the only access on the exterior. No access, no access. Keep going, bud. No access, no access. Closet? Maybe. Cool, right? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that be no access? That's what it would be. Okay. Hopes up. I'm on along open risers. Handrails are not graspable. The window does not appear to be tempered safety glass within 24 inches of the door. Looks like we got sheetrock screws holding it. It's sturdy, man. It's sturdy. Whatever it is, it's been holding it. it doesn't mean that it's right. Okay. We do not have a screen. This is wood. It looks like stucco. This is the doorbell work. Hello. Okay. Any water that gets in here has no place to go. There's no place to go. It doesn't come out. It just stays in the wall. Front door split. See that? I don't know what vent this is. I think it might have been for a kitchen vent at one time. Whatever it is, this vent is clogged. That's a closed dryer vent right there. It's a closed dryer vent. So it's kind of, I don't know what that is exactly. Coming on along. What is this pipe? That's for the air conditioning system. That's the secondary drain line. It's supposed to go to an obvious location. So they put this pipe, they put this pipe around here so the water wouldn't drain. See how it's been draining all around there? 
guess it's messed that all up. Well, it's supposed to mess it up because then you know you have a problem and you get it fixed. The way they've routed this drain pipe, it does not discharge into an obvious location. So you can have a problem for a long time until you got up there and changed your air filter, which apparently somebody hasn't been doing. Just saying. Coming over here, we got some bushes next to the house. Vines, ivy. These are weep holes. You're supposed to have those. Coming along, we got negative drainage towards the house. It does make kind of a swell. You can see how it's been moving around. It's been working. It's been working. Not on the patio though. Remember the patio? It hasn't been working there. All right. We'll talk about this during the deck. Well, one thing we didn't talk about during the deck. You see these? See these flagstones? I got them all around my house. I like them. I do. But they're not dimensionally uniform, and they're beyond the scope of this inspection. See all that wood in there? That's part of the termites. Look at that. You think termites like all that though? Dead wood underneath the porch? I do. Think they'll eat that? Uh huh. Yeah, buddy. So anyway, these steps are not dimensionally uniform. So if Granny's gonna prowl around your house, you might. Grab the woman by her elbow and help her, help her snoop, help her check out your abode. So, again, beyond the scope, but still, moving on along. Tree should not be closer than 24 feet to the foundation. This is all slab on this side. This is all slab on this side. This pier and beam on the other. What am I looking at? I'm looking at some crooked steps. That's what I'm looking at. We're gonna talk about those later. Yep, we sure are. Just looking at the rotten wood trim right in there and the way the paint's off flaking off of the shoulder. That, look at that, look at that wood right in there too. Is it gonna get any better? No. No, it won't. Coming on along. We're at the front of the home. A little bit of movement in the vertical wall trim right there. Okay, this garage casement. See how it's stuck next to the wall. Right like that. You know why that happened? It's because it rotted. How wide it rot? Capillary action. Capillary action, what's that? This means the wood sucked the water up off the cement. Oh, so we're just going to fix it? Yeah. Well, you know, we could have put a gap there. This faucet does not have an anti-siphon vacuum breaker on it like the other one does. 